have been like for you? What have been your highlights? Well, the highlights so far, I suppose, was um, James Wade, um, right down to the wire against the qualifier. You know, this is a tough competition for them top players. Uh, they really do worry about this one. Um, it really is the FA Cup of darts, so you know anything can happen. It, it normally does. So that was quite a highlight. I was glad to see Ted got through a couple of matches and made his way through to the main stage. He just got beat by Mervyn King in our, in our final match. We've just completed the draw, which has thrown up all kinds of spanners in the works, as always, but draws always do. And so we're looking forward to tomorrow's play. Starts at 6 p.m. Uh, doors will open and we'll get the action underway on Sky Sports Live at 7, as always. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to tomorrow. But today was a bit uh, usual suspects got through and a few, few new boys, which is always nice. And what are your highlights of the draw from this evening for yet tomorrow's play? Yeah, I think the highlight for me has to be um, Barney against Yellow Class and a bit of double ducks there. I mean, you know, um, when people refer to Phil Taylor and Adrian Lewis as the sort of the sorcerer and the sorcerer's apprentice, I think that's the Dutch equivalent. You know, Yellow Class and um, although he, he, he's won a version of the world title, I think, uh, in all honesty, he's, he's really looked up to Barney as his mentor, and now it's going to be, you know, for head to head. Um, we've had an all-Dutch final, of course, and um, so there are no, there are no uh, uh, surprises that the, du the Dutch will do well here. But uh, um, that one for me is a, a, a good draw. Um, other than that, I think um, it's the normal stuff. I mean, you had a few cheers and a few, you know, sort of boos when different people get drawn out, but, you know, that just goes with the flow. Personally, I think that, for me, is the highlight of the draw. It really is, the two Dutch boys. And who's your one to watch for the tournament? I, I really feel... In my heart of hearts, I've been having um, some close contact with Colin Lloyd because he does a lot for our forces charity. And um, he's totally convinced me with his uh, uh, strategy of how he's knuckled down to playing and practicing. And, and, and I think he could work be the one to watch, I really do. But it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if somebody we didn't know came up the outside rail and nipped everyone at the post. Yeah, it's, it's one of those tournaments where That's anything it. can happen, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It is one of those tournaments where literally anything can happen. And the only way to find out is to keep logging on. Wonderful. Thank you for your time, John. Cheers.